This is the end Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety no surprise The end I'll never look into your eyes again Apocalypse Now, guys. Get some culture if you haven't seen that. Look, you guys have no idea what it took to even get me upright, much less speaking, doing a movie review, and basically what amounts to shooting a short film. I know it's crappy, but you know, it's the best I can do under heavy uh, sedation, whatever you call it. Well, so this is E.T. for the Atari 2600, one of the crappiest games of all time. I think I'm going for some kind of world record for pain in one sitting. And basically what you're looking at right now is the entire game. It's the pits. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, if you haven't read the instructions, you'll have never, you'll never have any clue what you're doing, but that was basically true for almost every Atari 2600 game. So I actually did some research, you know, I, I went online and I looked to see just what the instructions were, how to play, what the goal was, and I learned everything you needed to do, because I actually wanted to play this game and beat this game. I was actually going to give it a shot. So here's the deal. Unlike the movie, you have to go searching in pits for three parts of a radio, which you'll use to phone home and call the mothership. And it, you have, it, it's so they're scattered everywhere, and there are guys who oppose you at every turn. There are two guys. There's an FBI agent and a scientist. That's the scientist in a lab coat. He looks like my grandma, but whatever. When the scientist captures you, he takes you to a Greek forum, which you will immediately just walk right out of. Uh, beyond that, he really doesn't do anything to you. But the real son of a bitch is the FBI agent. At first, I had no idea what he does. He doesn't capture you. He just seems to walk right past you. What he does is one of the most insidious bullshit things in any game ever. Here's what he does. If you've got any radio parts on you, 
he takes them and he hides them in a pit somewhere. The son of a bitch. So you, you'll notice. See that little parts to appear in the upper uh, in the upper part of the screen? If the FBI guy even gets near me, he'll take it away. So I gotta run my ass off to get away from him. And then I... <laughs> that's bullshit. The scientist was right on the other side of the screen. And now he's gonna drag my ass all the way back to the forum. And he's gonna incarcerate me where I'll just walk out. And believe it or not, this is actually a really short game. I mean, there's no more than maybe six, seven screens. And if you know where the parts are, you find them, you assemble the phone, and you call home, and you can really finish this game in about three minutes. That is if you can avoid the bastard FBI agent who steals all your crap! And that was the biggest problem I had, really. I mean, it wasn't the, the life slowly ticking away with every step and every action you take. It wasn't really the pits, although... Oh my god, fucking the pits. I'll tell you about that in a second. But it's that guy who just walks up to E.T., takes his radio bit, and, and then just walks away. Who does that? What branch of the FBI is he with? Like, <laughs> but yes, I mean, everything you've heard so far is true. The controls are the most shattered, broken bullshit ever in any game. I mean, you'll just walk into pits randomly. You'll walk into people on the other side of a screen. You'll have no chance to avoid them. And the graphics, even for the Atari, are horrible. Look at this. I, I don't even know what this was. I raise my head, and a flower grows. And I got a smiley face. What does that do? Man, I looked that up. I couldn't find out what it does. It's just a waste of my time. I'm halfway down on life. And you see those little, little black specks on the ground? You know what those are? You'll never figure it out. You know what those are? Reese's Pieces. You know what the Reese's Pieces do? Nothing. B basically what happens is, it, you can sometimes call Elliot, that you'll see a little smiley face on the top, you can activate, you can stretch your neck, and that activates a power. And that'll call Elliot sometimes. Sometimes he'll show up, and sometimes he'll just not appear, he'll just like, like fuck E.T. If you have nine Reese's Pieces, like, good luck on you ever getting nine of those things. If you have nine of them, he'll give you a radio bit. If you die, he takes all your Reese's Pieces and he resurrects you. But not only that, if you have no radio bits, the FBI guy shakes you down and he takes your Reese's Pieces! I mean, he sees an alien and he takes his candy! What the shit is that? If I'd have seen Spielberg's movie, I'd have been much more traumatized by Agent Mulder taking my Reese's Pieces than seeing some uh, Secret Service guys with guns. And I just got caught by Grandma again. Come on, stop wasting my time, dude. You're not even locking me in the room. I could just walk through the ceiling if I felt like. There's no depth, there's no three dimensions. I'm just grabbing stuff, I don't know what it is. And I stretch my neck and I try to float out of the pit. And by the way, I'm actually really good at this. Because <laughs> I'm actually making it out most of the time. It's so broken, you'll it, just fall right back in. 95% of the time. Oh! <laughs> I can't get out. This is totally hopeless. This is the whole game. I mean, you get radio parts, and you try desperately in vain to dodge the FBI guy who appears on almost every screen. If it's not that guy, oh, he just took my god! Damn it! You see, you see what I mean? Is, he takes one of your things away, and he puts him in in a random pit. You have no way to. You have to go in every pit again. Maybe you get lucky. Most of the time, you won't. The thing is, every time you fall in a pit, it drains some of your life off, and then it takes even more life to get out of the pit. And more likely than not, you fall back into the pit, and then you gotta go float back up. Do you know who Sisyphus was? He was a guy in, I think, Greek mythology who was cursed by the gods to forever push a boulder up a hill, but every time he got to the top, it would just roll back down the other side, so we'd have to go back down the other side and push it back up. That's what this is! You fall down the pit, and then you very delicately float your way back up, and then you fall back down! I know I'm not being funny, but there's nothing funny about this game. I mean, you know, Bayou Billy, the other games, you could laugh at those. You could play those. But this, I mean, you could just tell that nobody put any effort into this. Then nobody bothered to test it. They just pushed it out because E.T. was a popular movie at the time. <laughs> I keep falling in the pit. This isn't funny. E.T. is just pain. Arr, I keep falling in the pit. Why? Why do they make it this bad? <laughs> they got captured by the scientist again. The FBI always got to steal my stuff while I'm locked up. Great. And by the way, is it just me, or do I detect a little hit of a penis beneath E.T.'s legs there? Look at that little dot down there. Do you see that? <laughs> oh I so don't want to be here. I mean, I'm sitting here playing E.T. I didn't even like the movie E.T. I know that's like sacrilege, but uh, seriously, fuck E.T., man. I, I hated that movie. Uh, how do you make a game out of that movie? I, what What's the inspiration behind the level design? There's just no point. This entire thing is a perfect example of just cashing in. Never get out of the pit. 
absolutely goddamn right. I know I said I did some research on this game before, and it's true I had, but um, looking back at what I'd done, I, I just realized that I, I couldn't remember. I'm so stoned, I couldn't remember what I had just done a few minutes before, so it just went in like one eye and out the other, if that makes sense. So let's return to the land of E.T., where apparently the region outside of Elliot's house is riddled with 30-foot deep pits that have, for no reason, radio parts in them and Reese's pieces scattered hitherto on the ground in all places. For instance, running. Um, you can run if you hold uh, one of the buttons down, and I had never, I never did this when I played the game. So, uh, that's the reason all the bad guys are catching me, is because I had completely forgotten how to run. And also, you'll see a lot of times along the purple bar, there's this arrow up there. And sometimes it'll point in certain directions. And what ha what that means is, if you're in that certain spot and you extend your neck, you act you just warp in that direction. You immediately escape, because E.T. can do that. Remember how he could teleport around the map at all times? The other thing is, there's also a little question mark, I think. That if you extend your neck when you're on the question mark, if there's a radio part in a pit, the pit will blink. And believe me, that's a freaking godsend when you're trying to find the radio parts. Of course, that means you have to stand still and do that while well, usually an FBI guy is chasing you, but whatever. Another thing is, you'll see, like, I think it's a smiley face. And if you extend your neck with there's a smiley face, sometimes Elliot will come. I say sometimes because other times he's just in his room jerking off. And you can never tell which one. And you know, so when it, when it doesn't work, you'll wonder if you're just losing your mind like I was and wonder if you read the instructions right. And I'll just confess to you right now, I couldn't beat this game. I tried. I was, I was here all day trying to play this game. And, you know, like I said, if, if I was at my best, you know, maybe this would take five minutes. And if I'd have remembered half of what I'd just read, it might not have been that hard. But as it said, I was just walking into scientists and kept getting captured. All my shit was getting taken away by Agent Mulder. I actually own this game, I swear to God. And it, it's remarkable how such a small game can can be so painful in that, in that bamboo reeds under your fingernails way. I mean... It's 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 just horrible, and there's really nothing to comment on this game. I mean, look at it. It's just, this is my entire thought process during the game. Okay, I gotta go in this pit and get the get the uh, radio part. Is there one down here? No, there's not one down here. Ah, shit, that guy's coming. I gotta find another pit. Maybe the radio part's in here. I fell down. Shit, now I gotta get out. Now I gotta float up there, and hope I don't fall back in. Yeah, try another pit, and it just keeps going on and on and on, and all this to see an ending. And I never got to the ending, but I did go to YouTube and I found out what the ending was. I'll just tell you what it is. E.T. goes to the mothership. He visits Elliot's house. Elliot is this little blob of a human sprite. Elliot goes into his house from the left, walks through it, goes outside to the right, goes back into his house. And then it goes back to the title screen. That's the ending. I mean, it's it's the most nihilistic, pointless, vacuous, nothing ending you've ever heard. But, you know, I barely remember how long I've been playing this game. I barely know what I'm doing. So I figure I'm going to try it one more time. So I hit the reset button, and we're going to start again. So, I mean, this is the play-by-play. -play. Okay, Reese's Pieces Underground. i got to find a pit. So, okay, this one's as good as any. There's nothing down there. So i got to float down there. And I know I'm going to fall in, but i got to keep trying to fuck, I fall back in. I try to float back out. And look how much life I've lost already. If I, if I grabbed another Reese's Pieces, somebody apparently while I was in the pit scattered Reese's Pieces candy on the ground as I was down there running around. The scientist notices me fall out. I jump into a pit to save myself. The scientist goes away. Nope, he's still there. He was waiting for me. <laughs> And then he says, I'm going to take you back to Rome, young man. See, and I could call Elliot, but I ask you, what good would that do? And I just walked into a pit by accident, but that's okay. You know, I'm looking for radio bits. i got to get out there. Uh, Agent Mulder's there stalking me. And I... Oh, my God. I kept having to pause the game, pause this recording, because I'm spitting blood, like, every minute or so. I had to take the gauze out of my mouth just to speak so you could understand me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just I'm just getting nowhere. I mean, look at this. I found a radio part, finally. Thank God. Now only two more to go. You wouldn't think that would be that hard. Only two more to go. And I, I, you just go between pits, hoping the FBI guy doesn't get you, because if he does, you have to start all over again. And that's that's just trying to get out of the pits you haven't been in before. Good luck with the ones you have been in. I keep trying to float out. 
I don't know what that means. That little four, that three pillar thing up in the purple bar when you try to stretch your head. I don't know what that means. Oh my god. I, just let me out of the pit. I don't want to be in this screen anymore. I don't know what that ugly screen means. I guess that's meant to infer trees. It, wow, a second radial part. My god. And it, and it makes an E up in the top. I don't, don't know what that means. <sighs> Only one more part to go. I can make this, you know? I, I'm finally getting inspired. All right. Oh, who am I kidding? This is totally pointless. As soon as I get anywhere, I just know some guy off screen is going to catch me. Agent Mulder's going to take my radio, and I have to start all over again. And I, these pits. Oh my god. Why can't I get out of these pits? Why did they make it so difficult? Oh, he just took it! Oh my god! No! Yeah. Come on, uh, 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 uh. yeah. All right.